Boxer Steven Sokold Nelson is 19-0 and has held a super middleweight title since 2020. In the end though, the biggest impact Steven will have made will not be from a punch. Painted this right here. And I got a background paint, another thing that makes me so cold. <laughs> another, another part of who I am. Grew up right around the corner from here, at North Omaha. I was always in trouble, and getting kicked out off teams and kicked out of school. My first time being like a true athlete was going to the military and starting to box. Worked my way up the ranks uh, very quickly, and I was on the Olympic team in 2012 as a training partner. Came back from the Olympics, and I won every national tournament there is in the U.S. Boxing and the military are a lot alike because both, you have to have a lot of resiliency, a lot of discipline, and you have to, you know, learn how to problem solve at, in the heat of the moment. And you gotta keep all your emotions bottled up and you have to get the mission done. <laughs> After leaving the Army, Stephen returned to Omaha to train with his one childhood friend who boxed, Terrence Bud Crawford. We're like brothers. Like, we in a training camp and every day it's a competition, an argument, but that helps push each other to be better because we're always competing in life. We're, we're always learning from each other. It turns out Bud's pretty good too. He's 40-0 and currently ranked as the world's best boxer. The two often fight on the same card and have developed a similar fighting style. The similarity is being diverse in the ring, not just being a power puncher. You go into something with just one game plan. You have to have plan B, C, D, E, F, because you never know what's going to happen. So Cold and Bud also partnered with local boxing coach Brian Bomack McIntyre to open B&B Sports Academy in North Omaha. This is the sign-in area because before we operated as like an open gym. We would be in here training, people would just come in and work out with us. It got to the point where it was just so unorganized and so chaotic. I felt like my community needed me, like especially the kids, and to give back and to inspire people you know, from my hometown because it's never been this type of exposure and attention that Omaha has got with any sports. You know, we have a couple of football players and basketball players that came out of here, but nobody's coming to Omaha looking for talent. And now we're exposing that. It's a place where they fit in, feeling that they got to work out and hopefully walk out of here with some discipline, some confidence as well. Hey, side lunge, back and forth. When I was growing up, honestly, like, we looked up to people who were doing negative things because those are the guys who had all the attention, nice cars, dressed nice. But now kids look up to us like, okay, I can go down the right path and use my skills, my talent to catapult me in a whole different level of life. My objective is use combat sports as a platform to teach them life skills and how to push through adversity. It's about 4.50 in the afternoon is when the kids start coming in. Carlito, you've been around since how old were you? I was like, I was 12. I don't know what I would be if I wasn't for the gym, training every day. I'm trying to be like, go pro one day. So I learned a lot of stuff, like how to defend myself, how to be a leader. He's been an amazing coach. He's one of the best. I think he's one of the best coaches. He makes me feel proud to be here. Like the training may be intense, but it's all worth it at the end. We come Monday through Thursday. When our car broke down, he was more than willing to take the bus. It's free to all the kids. It's not only boxing all the time. They've had a car wash here. He's learned a lot of self-discipline, more self-control on his emotions. 
I'm training the next generation of stellar people. I'm teaching them how to be good human beings because let's be honest, every kid that comes into this gym, which we have almost 150 kids who come through here and I have 60 on the waiting list, but all those kids are not gonna be the next superstar in whatever sport they choose but they can use what they've learned in this gym to accomplish more things in life. What I did is I came in here, like another so cold thing, I'm a carpenter. <laughs> and I put these electrical panels in the floor for our equipment. Along with boxing, carpentry, and painting, Steven is a chef, a mechanic, even a stand-up comic. She told me, she said, hey, hey, um, get some Jamaican casserole. I'm thinking she said Castro oil. <laughs> his numerous talents are what spawned his nickname. Uh, it's my nickname that was given to me by a group of friends in the, in the army because I'm good at a lot of different things. They said, man, you're so cold at everything you do. Like when I was injured a couple years ago, I took my off time and learned how to fly planes. Now I'm continually adding more things to my toolbox. I'm a creative person and I'm an artist. So I'm like, you know what? I want to come out to different characters at every fight. So I taught myself how to use a sewing machine and start making my own uniforms. The fan favorites are when I came out as Hannibal Lecter. I had a straight jacket and everything. One of my favorite movies growing up was The Last Dragon. I came out as shown up. I tore my Achilles, so I came out as the warrior Achilles. My last fight, I came out as Iron Man. I'm really inspired by Iron Man too because he's like me. He made himself a hero from his intelligence. I have a lot of uniform and I still have a long list. So Cole continues to chase titles in boxing and has equally big ambitions for his gym. And then we're gonna have classroom settings where we could teach kids different life skills and learn how to be a carpenter, learn plumbing, learn electricity, everything. And I'm using boxing to accomplish my goal, which I'm walking those steps right now, you know, working with the kids. I've always wanted to be a community activist and um, have my own nonprofit and working with the community. That was always my dream. And to have multiple businesses and stuff where I would have different things that I do all in one central location, like a one-stop shop. So. That's my goal, because I knew the different people in my life affected, affected my life and made me who I am today. A lot of times people will champion me and be like, hey man, you're so talented, God bless you with these talents. But a lot of people don't understand that it wasn't like I was born with these talents. I developed them from being around the people I was around. So I felt like I could do the same. Like you never know how you will affect a person's life by you know the small things you do. I have tons of people who was that for me. They may not even know that I was inspired by them or what they were good at, you know, trickled down to me. So I feel like I can do the same for, you know, not only kids, but the adults and people around me.